Uh, welcome to the Seminary of Maths, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we want to uh, find an integral. We want to take the integral from 0 to 2 pi of cosine, cosine theta uh, times a hyperbolic cosine of sine theta d theta yeah, from 0 to 2 pi and show that that equals 2 pi. Uh, so for, first thing, we're going to work a little bit with Cauchy's integral formula. So Cauchy's integral formula is uh, f of z naught equals 1 over 2 pi i integral over a contour whose interior is f of z is analytical in and whose uh, boundary is within f of z's analytical domain. Uh, integral over this of f of z over z minus z naught uh, gives us f of z naught. Uh, so we're going to make a substitution z equals z naught plus, plus r e to the i theta. And essentially, we're going to uh, take an integral over a circle centered at z naught. So uh, putting that in here, we can simplify it. We get f of z naught equals 1 over 2 pi integral from 0 to 2 pi f of z naught plus r e to the i theta t theta. This essentially is saying that for an analytical function, uh, the average of the values around a circle gives us the value of the center of the circle, which is a neat fact. Uh, now we're going to consider uh, the integral of uh, cosine z around the circle radius 1. Uh, one thing to note about our original problem, the hyperbolic cosine of something uh, is in fact just the cosine of i times that something. Uh, so if we take the integral of cosine z dz, our contour being a circle of radius 1, uh, so z equals e to the i theta. Uh, so yeah, so we can make the substitution z equals e to the i theta. Uh, so we take the integral from 0 to 2 pi uh, cosine e to the i theta d theta. And this equals integral of 0 to 2 pi cosine of cosine theta times cosine of i sine theta minus sine uh, cosine theta times sine i sine theta. And our cosine i sine theta is really the hyperbolic cosine of sine theta. So this is starting to look a little bit like what we want. Uh, one other thing we should note So looking again at uh, cosine z around the circle of cosine e to the i theta d theta from 0 to 2 pi, we can make a substitution. Uh, theta prime equals minus theta. So putting that in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it, it goes from 0 minus 2 pi, although we have a minus here, so we can flip the limits, uh, the limit value. So we get integral from minus 2 pi to 0 cosine e to the i minus theta d theta is equal to our original one. And uh, making another substitution, theta prime equals theta plus 2 pi, we can send these minus 2 pi and 0 back to 0 and 2 pi. Uh, d theta stays d theta. Uh, e to the i, e to the minus i theta minus 2 pi is the same as e to the minus i theta. So we get the, uh, the integral of 0 to 2 pi cosine e to the minus i theta d theta is the same as the integral from 0 to 2 pi cosine e to the i theta d theta. And this is useful because expanding out cosine e to the minus i theta, uh, the second term when we expand out involving sines, we don't want it. And so now uh, if we add uh, cosine e to the minus i theta, or if we subtract cosine e to the minus i theta from cosine e to the i theta, uh, the cosine values will cancel. We'll be left with these sine terms. We can see that the integral of these sine terms from 0 to 2 pi is, in fact, just 0. So we can ignore them. Uh, yeah, so, so the, the integrals are 0, so we can leave them out. And so integral of cosine z uh, 
dz is really just integral from the equal to the integral from zero to pi of cosine cosine theta times hyperbolic cosine sine theta. So this is really the integral we want to look at. And this integral from uh, our little modification of Cauchy's integral formula is equal to f of uh, f of z naught, and our f of z is in fact just cosine here. So cosine zero is one. So we have. So all in all, we, from Couch's integral formula, we know this integral, uh, integral is zero, two pi cosine z dz, one over two pi equals one, or this integral just equals two pi. But this integral is equal to just cosine cosine theta times cosine i sine theta, which is equal to cosine cosine theta times the hyperbolic cosine of sine theta uh, from zero to pi. And so this integral, which we want, is in fact just equal to two pi. And so we get this from working with Cauchy's integral formula and making note of some symmetry properties of this function. Uh, so yeah, that solves our problem. Uh, please check out standardmath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.